Right. Go ahead. Sounds like. Uh, Jay, as a sixth assist for you this evening, uh, to talk a little bit about what you were trying to get accomplished with that uh, on the all around game there. Just trying to share the ball with my teammates, uh, getting everybody involved. But I also have four turnovers, so I can't turn the ball over like that. Uh, but uh, my teammates was open, getting them open shots. They just knocked down a couple threes for me, and that was good. So just getting my teammates involved. Erica, as far as uh, your game went this evening, that three-pointer was dropping for you pretty well. But uh, four for four from the free throw line, it's got to be something to hang your head on. Yes. Um... I've been missing free throws, and that's not that's not what I usually do. So it felt good to go four for four from the line today. Eric, in terms of focus, uh, these last two opponents, you know, at first glance, you seem to have an easy way with them, and you all pretty much delivered on that. How important was it to focus on those two um, opponents and take care of business with Kentucky? Every opponent is important, so it's always important for us to focus on the game that we're playing at the moment. We can't ever overlook anybody because when you do that, that's when you get beat. So, and these two teams are great teams leading up to Kentucky because they both do things that Kentucky does. So, they, these are two great opponents for us. How, how different was it having a, a different person leading things on the sideline? Um, it wasn't bad because Norman is always leading us. Uh, you guys might not see it because she does a lot of private practice. She lets him have his shine during the game. <laughs> <laughs> but Coach Norman is always there leading, so it wasn't really different for me. She did a great job, too. Three straight games were forced uh, over 25 turnovers. Uh, talk about that increased defensive pressure, if you would, Jay, as in, and Erica. Um, I think um, we're starting to get out, get out there. At, uh, we're starting to get after it on the defensive end. Uh, we're picking up the intensity, uh, turning people over, uh, especially in our press and our mad dog. Um, so we're doing a great job defensively. Uh, we started off struggling during uh, the beginning of the year, but we're picking it up as uh, the season goes, goes along. I agree. That's <laughs> <laughs> easy way out. Uh, as far as preparations for uh, that game Sunday that's coming up, what are some of the things that you all think you need to work on when you get ready for that game on Sunday? I think what's going to be big for us is turnovers. Um, they also press, so we have to be able to take care of the ball. We started off great this game, and then we fell off, but we can't do that against them because they're a great team and they play hard the whole game. And also defensively, uh, we got to box out. Uh, like I said, they play hard, so they're going to go after rebounds, and we can't give them second chance points. Erica, um, can you talk about what this rivalry means to you as a senior? And Jazz, I guess if you want to jump in on that too. At first, I didn't understand it, but then when I played my first game, I, I really understood. Uh, this is big. Um, it, it means a lot for our school, for for our program, for the academic. I mean, for the athletic director of to to beat this team because they just come out like they're just great and they just have this aura about them like they're going to beat everybody, but that's not how it is. We're going to come and defeat them again. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Jazz, were you surprised by the uh, the extent of this board? I mean, you know, Tallahassee, Florida State's got a few rivalries as well, but did the intensity of this rivalry surprise you when you first got here? I mean, uh, not really. It's just like uh, Florida versus Florida State or yeah. uh, FSU versus Miami. So uh, this is another big college rivalry. Um, we, and we can't take anybody lightly. I know we're going to get everybody's best game. They're well coached, great team. They're off to a good start this season. So we just have to come in here, uh, focus defensively. Um, and if we come out defensively focused, the offensive end will take care of itself if we take care of the basketball. Did the, uh, the margin of rebounding tonight, where you all you had a pretty big edge without Kylie in there that we kind of surprised by that on how big a rebounding edge you had on them? I think our rebounding can still be a lot better. Uh, like I said, we gave up way too many offensive rebounds to them, which led to a lot of their points. And defensively, uh, we did a pretty good job rebounding, but we can't let them get offensive rebounds like they did. We're good. Thank, Thank you, you all. Guys. Thank you all. Thank you.